Hi there everyone, we back again with another banger. Yes sir guys, the most requested and demanded video guys. You know how it is, if it's got your mentor. For those who actually don't know what this is, this is actually the last, last video of FS Gold 1.0 free course. For those who have missed the previous videos, make sure you check them out. We have the first lesson, which is this one, and the second lesson is this one, and now this is the last one. In this lesson, guys, we make sure that we keep the best for last, guys, because we do understand that in order for you to basically understand this last lesson, you must first go through the first one, the second one, to use what we're going to give you in this last lesson. In this last lesson, FS Good Weapon of Recourse, we are giving you guys our strategies, guys. Finally, that will be the end of our free giveaway to the community, guys, because we do understand that most people, especially our loyal subscribers, they come from disadvantaged backgrounds, guys. So that's what we saw because we also came from the disadvantaged backgrounds. The difference between this 1.0 free course and our current 2.0 advanced course is that besides it being advanced, it also comes with mentorship, daily trading, Twitter moderation, and basically overall team success, guys. We have a community whereby we trade with you guys on a daily basis, okay? So... For those who love and appreciate our content, it would be a major appreciation if you guys just hit the like button, subscribe button, and share the video, guys. Without any further of time, let's get it. Hey, this is FS Good Your Mentor, and I want to congratulate you to actually making it into the first part of our last lesson. So, in this lesson, we're going to cover the FS Gold New Market Strategy, and we call it the key to financial freedom. Reason being is when properly applied, it will enable you to become a self-sufficient trader. So, without wasting any further time, let's jump in. So, the final step to understanding the new market strategy is that the a three months project. We have worked on a high quality online course accessible from anywhere in the world, right? It's a fully structured online trading academy created to prepare you mentally and knowledgeably to become a skilled professional trader like us. So, the previous lessons on trends, support, and resistance, candlesticks, and overall technical analysis, all four have prepared you to now be able to understand our new market strategy. So, if there's some topics you haven't fully grasped, You'll be able to recap and also learn on your own pace from your own comfortable space. So the new market strategy package comes with two PDFs of the new market strategy. They will be found under the test with the user guide on how to access them. Right? They are basically a recap on the final lesson of the new market strategy. And after you have gone through all six lessons, you can go and check them out. So we understand that we have taught you how to draw your support and resistance. So we're going to first start with a small recap of how to draw our support and resistance as you can see we have a support at the bottom maybe resistance at the top and the market will be consolidating like so so now that you're here you don't understand whether the market will actually break through or the market would reverse so we've worked out a couple of ways to help you be able to spot the reversals and breakthrough so we're going to first start with how to spot the reversal as support and resistance so let's start so you're going to need to see a power move into the market structure you need to see a strong price rejection. The larger the candlestick, the better. So let me show you what I mean in the normal market. So we have this nice pair here under our support and resistance. So I'm going to help you know how to spot our reversals following our simple rules. So firstly, we can see that we had the push to the upside and we're experiencing some selling pressure here, making this a potential resistance. So the market came back down to test our support short back up giving us a what we call a rejection and short back up once again so for us to be able to spot this reversal here we basically followed our simple rules so firstly you can see where the power move towards our market structure you can see that we had a big weak creation and lastly we have what we call a price rejection so a price rejection is normally a week that is like this like a shooting star so we're seeing that the sellers are now in control and are going to push the market down hence it's going to be a reversal and that's how we spot it so let's go over some few examples to help you know how to spot this reversal. So now we have this pair here again, XAUUSD, which stands for gold. What happened was the market pushed up, giving us this push to the upside and we're experiencing some selling pressure, making this a potential resistance. So the market came back down to test our support structure and shot back up again, creating that power move towards our key level structure. We can see where the big weak creation and we can see some price rejection hence we went for what we call a sell so let's go over one more time and see another pair so as you can see here we have this nice pair euro usd and what happened was the market pushed down towards our support structure and we see it 
by a power move towards this level and we can see a strong weak creation and also a price rejection hence the market pushed back up similarly pushed back up again with a strong power move giving us a big recreation and also a price rejection and the market pushed downwards after that so that's how you spot our reversal setups so now let's go over to our next lesson so now we're going to cover how to spot a breakout so we're going to first need to go and recap on our support and resistance structures to know how to spot this nice breakout so usually we're going to have a consolidation under our support and resistance and when the market goes up create some sort of consolidation we are seeing this as what we call preparation for a breakout the reason we're saying this we are seeing that we have created what we call higher lows so these higher lows act as a pressure from buyers to actually push the market giving it enough strength to actually break through our market structure hence we see this as a breakout and not a reversal so let me show you how we can spot it in an actual market so what we're going to need first we're going to need to see higher lows into resistance we need to see lower highs into support it needs to be a build up creating that buy and pressure or setting pressure to actually break through our market structure so now let's see it in an actual market so we have this nice pair here gbb usd and what happened was we can see that we had what we call some nice lower highs so this nice lower highs were acting as selling pressure so we're seeing that the sellers are now in control and are pushing towards this support structure gaining enough momentum to actually break this level here and that's simply how we spot a breakthrough so now let's go over a few more examples as you can see here we have used dcad so what happened here when we spot a breakout we need to see what we call a build-up so this is what we call a nice higher lows so we see we have here higher lows and they're building up enough momentum to actually break through this support structure which is opposite to reversals because for reversal we need to see a power move towards a mega structure and that's how we get those price injections which is a reversal and you've learned how to spot that now so let's go over to a few more examples so we have this nice play here uusd and you can see it has been creating lower highs so these highs we're acting as selling pressure towards our support structure giving it enough momentum to actually break through so let's go over our last example as you can see we have what we call here a nice build up we're gaining what we call selling pressure to actually get all the strength to push down over our support structure and making it an actual sell so for us to have a reversal we need to see a power move towards our support structure followed by a reversal we have a power move making it a price rejection and that's how we spot a reversal and this is how we spot a breakthrough so let's now recap on how to spot a reversal and a breakout so we will need to see a power move into the market structure you need to see a strong price rejection the larger the candlestick the better for a breakout we need to see high lows into resistance we need to see lower highs into support and we need to see a build up acting as consolidation so that's creating buying pressure or selling pressure to give it enough momentum to actually break through our market structures so that's what we use to identify a breakout or reversal so core of price action trading support and resistance so support and resistance levels is the most important concept in trading you will ever need to learn to master as a professional or a full-time trader so drawing these levels perfectly and neatly with minimum error is very crucial for trading success the ability to draw these levels professionally is a difference between a successful and an unsuccessful trader it is important for you guys to draw these levels perfectly otherwise you will not be able to trade successfully so winning and losing traders both draw these levels but the thing that separates winners from losers is that the right selection and the drawing of support and resistance levels for trading hence it's important for you guys to know how to properly draw your support and resistance so now we're going to cover the new market strategy exposing the new market right this book is written for intermediate and advanced traders. So if you're an absolute beginner, we recommend you go over our beginner lessons first to take full advantage of this book. So market makers, we're going to cover market makers in detail in the next lesson. For now, what you can know is that market makers are people who actually move the market. Not only that, they have access to all the patents and information that is shared to 95% of traders worldwide. Now they have learned how to use this information against you. As brokers have sent all the information about how 95% of traders 
actually trade so what we want to do is we want to eliminate you from those 95 percent of traders and be part of the five percent that actually wins now as you can see our main focus on this new market strategy will be support and resistance because knowing how to properly use your tools will enable you to spot traps that are set by the market maker as you can see it's important for you to know how to properly identify these levels as it can help you identify your low and the high the day so we're going to analyze using an hour for our daily charts so you're going to analyze with the 15 minutes chart for your fundamentals trading and that is of course news trading so now we're going to go over a few examples and see how we can spot these nice traps so firstly we're going to start with this nice pair here usd cad so if you look closely here what 95 percent of traders would do they are seeing this as a nice cross of what we call our trend from this bullish trend and would go with the sell however what we discussed is we discussed that it's important for you to properly draw your trend lines because you want to cater for most touches as if you look closely we can see this as simply just a bounce on our trend line right so what we are doing we're catering for this touch here and this touch as well hence we're seeing this is simply just a bounce on our trend so it's also important to know how to draw your support structure as we're also seeing this as our bounce of our support so our support structure is basically at 1.3379 so we want to go with the buy here and 95 percent of traders went with the sell and let's see how the market now responds as you can see the market responded by actually making a fake out so it's important for you to know to use your tools as they can help you identify such traps so now let's continue so now looking at this pair here what most traders did they are seeing this as again as what we call a breakout and would want to go for a sell here so what we see here we're seeing our reversal setup that is basically a power move towards our market structure we are seeing a big recreation and now we're seeing a nice price rejection simply by just retesting this nice support structure here reason being is knowing how to properly use your tools we know you to see such traps as it's also important to know how to actually properly put your support structures to identify such traps so now let's see how the market responded because 75 percent went with the sell and we went with the buy so as you can see we are seeing a nice retest like again it's a price rejection and to note again for you to hold a pair like this for swinging it's important for you to draw your trend line correctly as it can help you know how to actually hold your trade so if you draw a trend line i'm gonna put my line here for it to be more accurately so it's important for you to know that you can actually lose one and gain a potential six by following our simple rules so the market tends to follow the trend four out of five times so knowing to properly draw your trend lines it's important for you to spot traps and know how to swing your trades so now we can continue right so if you look at this pair here again what most traders saw they saw what we call a nice head and shoulder we are saying this is incorrect we are seeing it as a just simply a retest on our resistance because for it to be a nice head and shoulder it should be a breakout outside our trend so let me show you what i mean by that so let's say now we're in a bearish channel and the market is ranging like so right so the market will be inside this bearish trend and being consolidating like it's doing now so for us to spot a head and shoulder it should be a bounce outside resistance and giving us a retest so that's how we're supposed to enter a head and shoulder it should be outside our trend and giving us a retest entry and that's how we properly use our head and shoulder so more traders use their tools incorrectly and want to force their ideas into the market as you can see we're seeing this as an invalid head and shoulder so 95 percent went with the buy and we went with the sell and let's see how the market responded as you can see the market shot back down once again it's important to know to properly use your tools as it's just only a retest on our resistance and not a breakout so just like that we are done with this lesson hi there fs goat here this is part two of exposing the new market strategy so basically you're in your final chapter into becoming a professional trader so this is a very important lesson and without any further waste of time let's get started firstly let's start with the overview what you'll be taught in the next few lessons will change everything you've thought about forex and how the market really works 
We will go over Micah's strategy and patterns that the dealers use to entice traders into the market. We will also be going over how to enter the market against the retail trading head and in line with forex dealers and bracket market makers. So what I mean here is, I'm going to teach you to become part of the 5% that actually wins in forex trading. How? By not forcing your directions into the market. So basically, I want to turn you into a trend follower. I want you to follow the direction given to you by the market. Hence, I'm saying trading in line with the forex dealers. Let me show you an example of what I mean by that. In forex, we buy low, we sell high. So with those two words, let me show you what I mean. So let's say we have two types of trends. We have a downtrend. Secondly, we have an uptrend. Right? So what I taught you in the previous lessons is that every time we have a resistance, we're looking for selling opportunities. And every time we have a support, we're looking for buying opportunities. Many people ask themselves, why do we buy low, why do we sell high? So every time we have a high in a downward trend, we're looking for sales. So meaning every time we're looking for what? Higher lows. Every high is lower than the other, hence we call it higher lows. And here we're looking for what? Lower highs. Every lower is higher than the other, hence lower highs. So we buy low, we sell high. That is the basic meaning of Forex. How do we get our buy low or sell high? We get our buy low or sell high. In a downward trend, we're looking for high selling. And in upper trend, we're looking for what? Low buying. So that's basically how to make sure you follow a trend and you don't force a direction. I'm not forcing a direction here. I'm entering this buy here because the trend is saying that every time it touches this point, it's going to a buy. Hence, I'm saying, I'm seeing the direction provided to me by the market. Every time here I have a high, I'm looking for selling opportunities. Why? Because every time it hits it, the market tells me that it's looking for a sell. Hence, I'm saying I'm following the market and not leading it. Okay? So, let's continue with our lesson. Now, what is the benefit of trading in line with the dealer? Once the dealer makes his move, the market can swing hundreds of pips. And if you're trading in line with the dealer, you'll have much higher potential for profit in a very short period of time. As I showed you in the previous example, every time we have a sell, we make sure that we enter that seller up until its end. And every time we have a buy, we enter that buy up until its end. Hence, I'm seeing a high potential for profit in a very short period of time. We'll also be going over trading psychology and patience. How to obtain trades with up to 1 to 10 or even 1 to 20 risk reward ratios with little to no drawdown. Don't think this is possible? You'll be very surprised with what you'll learn in the next few lessons prepare to enter a new paradigm so basically this is just our introduction now let's go to the next lesson now let's start with the real deal lesson one the market makers before we start with this lesson i want to tell you something about the market makers the market makers took into account to study their enemy in this case me and you the retail traders the market makers made sure that they find a weakness into the retail traders and they exploit that weakness over and over again hence you see that the overall market grew from 3 trillion into 5.5. Now, I want to show you how the market makers exploit weaknesses. The forest market is controlled through brokers, hedge funds, and banks with the highest market share percentage. Did you see right there? The market makers is controlled through brokers, hedge funds, etc. So, which means the market maker is the real enemy. We have brokers right here, and we have us. The brokers are our enemy because they don't have our best interest at heart. But their major enemy is the market maker. Why? Because they're using the brokers as a front to get to you. They control the market. Now I want to show you how to understand the market makers. How to see how they trap you. Okay? So let me show you how they trap retail traders. You are of no value to the dealer, the market maker, if he cannot get you into the market. Now, this is the type of traps they set for retail traders. Okay? Once the majority of the retail traders recognize the pattern that is presented on the chart, the market maker will then either show the retail traders a bit of profit to entice them to use higher risk, leverage more, and overtrade. Then once you, the retail trader, are in over your head in trades with risk at max, the dealer swift the market completely against you and hits your stop loss before you know how to react. You see what I did there? He put you where exactly he wants you to be and immediately fall for his traps He turned the tables on you. Has this ever happened to you before? Thought you were in a perfect trade? Thought nothing would go wrong? The perfect trade setup was in progress, a great entry. Your first position is in profit. You add more positions. Then suddenly the market swings in the opposite direction, leaving you panicking and blowing account after account. 
What you see here is that the retail traders are extremely predictable because they see this 5.5 through in a day as some type of a magical get rich quick, a given tree, of which that's where the market makers exploit you. They see that you always want to risk big. You always come to forex trading as if it owes you money. But as you can see right here, this 5.5, it is a given tree. But how do you cut off a big tree? You don't cut off a big tree by just one swing. No, we cut off a big tree by hitting the same part over and over again consistently until it breaks. Hence, I'm teaching my people to use proper risk management and win consistently. So overall, you're going to drop the big tree. So now that you know that the market maker are able to turn the tables on you, you're asking yourself, how are they able to get the power to turn the tables on you? Now in this next lesson, I want to show you how the market makers are able to get the power to turn the tables on you, okay? The dealers. The dealer has many names. Market maker, liquidity provider, smart money, etc. So when do these market makers actually make the markets? So, the market makers are mostly active during the London and the New York session. During the Asian session, the market makers will be replaced with what is known as a liquidity sensitive automated market maker. That will move the market sideways in a perpetual consolidation for about 8 to 10 hours. What I mean right here is the market maker will create what we so called mid range zones. So the market is just going up and down right here with no overall direction, hence, building a momentum for the market. This is normally done during the Asian session. Short 10 hour consolidation phase is an absolute key for the London and New York dealers. This phase gives the dealers an added amount of liquidity that is needed to move the market when the dealers are ready to do so. Okay, so now, during the New York and the London session, during these times, the market will move much faster. You will many times see that once the agent's consolidation is over and the London session begins, the market may move in one direction for an entire length of the London session and then coming into the New York session completely reverse and go into the opposite direction of the London session. If you trade the London and the New York sessions, you know this is true. Many times one session is used to fake out or give a false directional bias to retail traders. Then the session changes over and complete reversal happens. Now let's say, for instance, we're in a consolidation right here. Once you enter your New York session is that the market will go up. The session changes, goes now to London session, made we see a strong drop and the direction is now created. We're now in a downward trend. Can you hold a downward trend by here? No. Automatically, you blow your account with just this first move here. So the market makers always give you these fake outs to make sure that people fall for them and then blow accounts because they never set stop losses and they always risk big. Why? Because when they give you what you want to see, you go all out. I'll be teaching you how to avoid such things, okay? Now let's continue. Manipulations. Now that you know the market makers are setting traps for you and you know where do they get the momentum, I want to teach you how do they start the manipulations, okay? So, to understand how the market is manipulated, let's forget everything we were ever taught as a retail trader about technical analysis. If it were really that easy, why do 95% of all traders fail? Why does the average trader using the mainstream form of technical analysis blow his account within the first three months of trading? Why is it that most traders using technical analysis take 10 plus years to become profitable? Why? Because they don't know that the problem lies inside. Trading is much more than just finding patterns. On the outside, trading is watching charts, spotting fake outs, trap zones, consolidation, etc. That is just the easy part. But what you can see which is the hardest to overcome is what's inside of you. Emotions. Can you mentally handle a drawdown? Are you confident in your trades? Are you taking trades because of an impulsive emotional response or do you let the trade come to you? Let me introduce you to something called patience. Now let's continue. There is time to trade and there is time to rest. If you don't know when the market makes its move, you could be waiting hours before you really see the type of volatility in the market that you're waiting for. Okay guys, so this is lesson 3, the market structure. Now, before we start this lesson, I want to tell you the words. How do you become a professional trader? Many people don't understand this. It's not about how many trades you win, how many trades you lose. Rather, it's about how much you lose when you are wrong and how much you win when you are right. But that is, I'm going to teach you to know that every time you are wrong, you get out quickly. But every time you are right, you keep on putting stop losses above profits. Your winners get more and more and more. Hence, I'm saying the market is designed to make sure that you must close your profits quicker and let your losses run. 
so i'm going to make sure that you close your losses quicker and you let your profits run okay but how understanding the market structure of the market so let's get started you will see variations of structures on every graph on every currency pair this is the fundamental framework on which the market is designed the consolidation phase is set up to keep traders jammed up in the same price range with very little movement for extended periods of time thus creating a state of fear and panic in retail traders mind forcing the weak out of their positions let's continue currency prices may seem to move randomly but they often exhibit repeatable patterns when we see these patterns we can anticipate the direction of prices with a high degree of mobility like i showed in the beginning there's three types of trends we have a straight trend we have an uprising trend and we have a down rising trend and in those trends you must understand what you're looking for in a consolidation you're scalping or you don't trade every time we have a downward trend you're looking for selling opportunities every time we have higher lows and when we have an upward trend you're looking for buy opportunities when we have lower highs consistently so now how to win when you have a downward trend or an upward trend okay let's understand this first market prices tend to move in trends like a way water moves waves some waves are smaller some waves are bigger but the guarantee of a wave or carrying it's certain that is very true meaning when you're in a downtrend you don't know when you have a sell but you know that a sell is coming why because it's a downward trend you must first wait for a high and then enter a trend okay let's look at this example i've given you down here first of all what did i teach about downward trend it's better to have a zone than a resistance line okay now let's say we have a resistance zone here and we have a resistance line now let's spot where the market makers fool people where they had fake outs okay this is where they hooked up buyers and people lost money here because they entered a buy entry and overall sell and then here the market makers what made people to enter a sell and then why they went to an overall buy so i taught you all these things and you must be careful of all of them okay so now let's start this thing clearer again we have our zone it's here okay every time we have a high we're looking for what selling opportunities every time we have a high we're looking for selling opportunities even lows in the one trend you can still run for a buy if you want to but i don't recommend entering an upward trend on an overall sell you're doing this only to scalp but in overall you must keep this ones as a sell okay and then as you can see right here we finally bounced off on our support so meaning the trend is about to change why because of a double bottom confirmation a double bottom tends to us that the market is about to change or we have a reverse head and shoulder these two right here shows us a change of direction so yeah now let's continue as you can see right here we say we're looking for a buy why because we entered what now we entered a buy trend I mean we're looking for those ups and downs into a buy trend all right as you can see right here the market respected setup why because you understand the patterns let's go to the last lesson reversals okay guys this is lesson five the reversal formations okay remember when i promised to teach you how to catch trades with up to one is to ten or if one is to twenty risk reward ratio with little to no drawdown this is that lesson this is the last first strategy you will ever need why the double tops or bottoms are common reversal signs now before going off to the charts and start trading every mnwc let's go over some characteristics of these patterns and why they happen okay let's start here what can you see right here okay let's see if we have an uprising trend right here what do we see we see a reversal reversal is spotted by what is normally spotted by and then our m will obviously okay like this so this is our m right here we're looking for we're looking for sell let's get started so we see that we form an m here so let's see what happens okay market makers need to make traders believe that trend will continue so they will often spike to or past the high very fast with one large candle okay i did teach you about this about breakages and reversals every time we have a reversal you always spot these things right here we have an evening star and then we have a bearish engulfing okay how do you spot an evening star a reversal candle how do you spot a bearish engulfing we firstly have a bearish candle and here we have what we have two bullish candles these are two confirmations of reversal in terms of pair whites okay above you can see the formation of the m this is what you will be looking for when trading this pattern is the retail trader trap that the market maker said and here is how it works okay 
so every time you have this they want to make sure that they hook up what they hook up buyers why because in overall set many people use this as just a resistance they say oh it broke my resistance i'm looking for buying entries and that's how they always lose it's a trap that i want you to practice over and over again until you master because once you master this you are now confirmed to be a professional trader okay this m and w formations are found throughout all time frames the time frames does not change the pattern because the pattern is based off the fear and greed instincts of all human beings you could even say that the pattern is not due to the chaotic services of transactions but due to how all humans react to fear and greed what market makers want retailers to see you see they always want you to see what a breakage of your resistance to think this is an overall buy and then the dealer the market maker will break past the previous established high let's say we had a high here it will break past this high also creating an information make it look like the price will continue an uptrend like we say right here you would think it's a continuation of an uptrend this is what really happens what really happens immediately after that high it drops now the dealer closes above the high then instantly drops back below the high trapping buyers at a second leg of the m and we've seen this many many times guys i want you to make sure that you can never have this and if this happens to you you have a stop loss you don't lose okay now let's continue now now that we have seen their main pattern we have to interpret the variations of the patterns because the dealer is never going to give the exact same pattern every time this is now we have a bearish engulfment right here every time it breaks your high it's a trap to hook you up and you can see right here this week comes back strongly making sure that you lose all your money okay this is a smaller m inside a larger m at a higher the day meaning the higher the day is spotted by the next m this is the high of the day you enter for what you go for a sell and then let's say we have the second day here a higher day for a second day we enter for a sell and you can see this also in an overall week that we have a high order day here in the weekly that's when you also enter for a sell now let's go to the w's now a reversal of sell going to a buy okay now w formations at the low of a day london session we have a consolidation right here and every time they hook up buyers here and it turned down out of it and then as you can see right here is now creating a different trap now it's creating a w grabbing what here now it's grabbing what is grabbing the sellers into a buy trend so we've seen this too many times every time you see that you just put your stop loss if you're wrong if you're right you enter into a buy you let it go up what you do is every time you're in a buy stream you just have to make sure you put your stop loss above entry making the market maker pay now let's go to to the last example i want to show you now we have different types of legs love the day of the previous day now we love the, the second day you see but why it is still a w we're looking for what we're looking for a buy movement i'm pretty sure you've noticed them now way enough that every time we have a strong push to the downside we see what a strong rejection and exhaustion of that movement giving us a strong buy these are all obvious moves of the market makers and that's how they trap the buyers and that's how they trap the sellers you have to make sure that you started this thing Forest trading is a skill that can set you off for life. Now, I need you guys to make sure that you practice over and over again until it becomes easier. That's all from me, FS Gold, signing out.